Freeport, the fishing and boating capital of the East, is one of the south shore of Long Island's truly unique and inspiring communities. A proud coastal community known for their scenic restaurants and recreational activities along the nautical mile. Freeport has been recently named one of the coolest towns in America for developing their own economic and local heart. Much of this has to do with Freeport's renewed efforts to attract new business to the area. A wave of development by major corporations combined with improvements to the Freeport LIRR station and major work on our roads is creating a strong economic position for Freeport. Recently we've succeeded in completely overhauling the train station. They've put in a new escalator, new staircase, they've repainted all of the columns, removed any graffiti, they changed all the light fixtures on the platform, they replaced the lobby on the platform, they've replaced all the signs. They've done quite a bit of work and I'm, I'm glad to see that uh, the station is turning around and, and aesthetically pleasing now compared to the condition it was in for the past many years. The Sunrise Highway Corridor remains an impressive economic generator for the last three years with luxury dealerships including Jaguar, Porsche, and Land Rover choosing to invest in upgrades and expansion. And many other businesses are investing in Freeport with their faith and commitment to economic growth, creating hundreds of local jobs and contributing to the vibrancy of the village. Today was the ribbon cutting for a new 20,000 square foot Porsche showroom. The village mayor says it's part of Freeport's revitalization. We're moving forward uh, both economically and, and in security in the village, and I think we're going to see continue redevelopment on, on Sunrise Highway. Freeport, the gateway to Jones Beach, has also seen substantial upgrades to the Freeport LIRR train station, the major hub on Long Island, which conveniently shuttles thousands of residents each day to and from the city. After World War II, Freeport became home to many commuters who travel to and from New York City every day. Freeport and Long Island Railroad have committed to making sure transportation is a top priority with new upgrades including new wider escalators, staircases, windows, planters, and charging stations that are a welcome to residents and visitors alike. These improvements come on the heels of a major downtown revitalization and beautification project that includes state-of-the-art lighting along Main Street, as well as brand new benches, trees, and pedestrian walkways, all contributing to a safer, cleaner Freeport and a better quality of life for its residents. North Main Street, you just put in 36 new lights, poles, you put in 72 new fixtures, 72 new arms, we're doing bulb outs, new waste receptacles, and we're doing new benches on the entire North Main Street. And when a vehicle is entering from either the east or west side of North Main Street, they'll have a better line of sight so there'll be less car accidents. Bus stops that's going to be installed and park benches all the way up and down North Main Street. So you're going to see additional businesses move in and consider opening their shops on North Main Street because just of the beautification and the planning that we're putting in now. Freeport's smart growth and downtown revitalization is a recognized leader in the region and is lauded by planners for its mix of new construction while keeping Freeport's unique local fare. We really want small town life. Uh, we want to bring back our downtowns. Uh, and certainly we see Freeport moving in that direction. Uh, we did have an experiment where we drove to everything for the last 70 years, and that's okay, but now we're trying to get people to walk into town and bring back that Main Street life. So what um, the North Main Street revitalization is doing is uh, ensuring that there is walkability, uh, that there's uh, benches and, and uh, all sorts of uh, medians and crosswalks and other amenities for the roadway that can get people uh, comfortable being out of their cars and walking between North Main Street and Main Street in and, and the, the heart of the downtown. Residents can also take advantage of the Freeport Recreation Center. The Freeport Recreation Center is a true gem in the south shore of Long Island, located on Merrick Road and in the heart of the village. The center features a state-of-the-art gymnasium and workout facility that is consistently ranked among the best in Long Island. By choosing to work out in Freeport's newly modeled fitness center, exercise goers have access to the most recent and cutting-edge cardio and strength training equipment. 
And with annual memberships starting at less than $20 a month, the Freeport Recreation Center easily beats out every other area gymnasiums as one of the most cost-effective options for working out anywhere on Long Island. I love the Freeport Recreation Center because it's a real gem in this community. It's a place where people of all ages can come. We have a preschool that, they, that starts at three years old and we have a senior center where we have people well in their 90s who come every day and it's their home away from home. So when Mayor Kennedy came into office, we decided that we would um, be more with the times and make a state-of-the-art fitness center. We added a whole lot of free weights. We added all Cybex equipment. Um, we updated our treadmills. Not only do we have a top-notch fitness center, we also have swimming pools. We also have saunas, steam rooms, um, a, a gymnasium, and an ice rink. So I really don't know of any other facility on Long Island that offers everything that we have and as nice as we have it. The highly skilled and trained Freeport Police Department is one of the most sophisticated and professional forces anywhere in the country. Equipped with the latest in crime-stopping and solving technology, the village's state-of-the-art technology that has pushed crime rates to record lows and has helped vastly boost tourism and economic activity. The main reason for the drop in crime, I believe, we believe, is the community's cooperation with the police department. In my opinion, the Freeport Police Department is one of the most technologically savvy police departments. From our license plate reader system, as a matter of fact, just last night, early this morning, we arrested two individuals from Brooklyn who were in possession of a stolen motor vehicle. The technology is outstanding. We wear the body cameras, they're outstanding. We currently have a crime analyst. We were able to predict the policing, as I indicated previously. We're able to locate these locations, respond to the locations, and attempt to correct the problem. Freeport's police stand ready to respond any day, any night, to provide support to anyone who needs it. The more police you have out there, I think the more reduction in crime you're gonna have. We put on 20 additional police officers since we've uh, come into office. We had 82, now we have 102. We've also equipped every police officer with a body camera. It's the first police department in New York to mandate the use of body cameras. So every police officer has now been trained with the use of tasers and equipped with them. You have an alternative to using deadly force. But implementing all of these ideas in, in the police department has reduced crime 24% in the last two years. Freeport, the fishing and boating capital of the East, has become one of the greatest places to live, work, and raise a family, and will continue to only improve in the days and years ahead.